Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on this law they meditate and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore, Therefore, the wicked the shall wicked not stand upright when wicked. judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, the way of the wicked is doomed. A reading from the book of Ruth. Naomi said, see, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not press me to leave you or turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die and there will I be buried. May the Lord do thus and so to me and more as well, if even death parts me from you. When Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's read responsively the selection from Psalm 36. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountain. Your justice is like the great deep. You save humans and beasts alike, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast, they feast upon the abundance of your house, of your house. and you, you give, give them, them drink, drink from, from the river, river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. heart. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that he answered them well, he asked Jesus, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and beside him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength. And to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Today, we celebrate the life of Elred of Rivo. Elred was born in 1109 of a family which had long been treasurers the Shrine of St. Cuthbert of Lindisfarne at Durham Cathedral. While still a young man, he was sent for education and upper-class life to the court of King David of Scotland, son of Queen Margaret. The king's stepsons, Simon and Waldef, were his models and intimate friends. After in intense disillusion and inner struggle, Alred went to Yorkshire, where he became a Cistercian monk at the Abbey of Rivo in 1133. Alred soon became a major figure in English church life. Sent to Rome on diocesan affairs of Archbishop William of York, 
he returned by way of Clairvaux. Here he made a deep impression on Bernard, who encouraged the young monk to write his first work, Mirror of Charity, on Christian perfection. In 1143, Elred led the founding of a new Cistercian house at Revsby. Four years later, he was appointed abbot of Rivo. And by the time of his death from a painful kidney disease in 1167, the abbey had over 600 monks, including Elred's biographer and friend, Walter Daniel. During this period, Elred wrote his best known work, Spiritual Friendship. Friendship, Elred teaches, is both a gift from God and a creation of human effort. While love is universal, freely given to all, Friendship is a particular love between individuals, of which the example is Jesus and John, the beloved disciple. As abbot, Elred allowed his monks to hold hands and give other expressions of friendship. In the spirit of Anselm of Canterbury and Bernard of Clairvaux, Elred writes, there are four qualities that characterize a friend, loyalty, right intention, discretion, and patience. Right intention seeks for nothing other than God and natural good. Discretion brings understanding of what is done on a friend's behalf and ability to know when to correct faults. Patience enables one to be justly rebuked or to bear adversity on another's behalf. Loyalty guards and protects friendship in good or bitter times. Elred of Revo. Lord have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our prayer come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you endowed the Abbot Elred with the gift of Christian friendship and the wisdom to lead others in the way of holiness. Grant to your people that same spirit of mutual affection, that in loving one another, we may know the love of Christ and rejoice in the gift of your eternal goodness. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to drive for, strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us honor these our vows and pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of our federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with a the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. 
We pray also for an end of the growing disparity between rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Okay. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our Amen. prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless, O Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Narina Guerra, Karen Liu, Eva Longmeyer, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, remembering especially today Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, Pam, MB. Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, MC, David, Jerry, Bruce, Paul, Katie, James, Paul, Dawn, Macy, Josephine, Peg, Sister Mary Jean, Frank, Damar, the people of Ukraine, those suffering from natural and human-made disasters, those injured due to gun violence, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died remembering especially Michael V. McCarthy, those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who died as a result of natural and human-made disasters, especially the victims of, of the recent rain and snowstorms in our country, those killed as a result of gun violence, the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts, may they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank oh, thanks be to God. God. <laughs> May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Amen.